include everything. All right, guys, we are back in Kithgard Dungeon, closing the distance. We're gonna be using basic syntax and variables on this level. We want our hero to survive. The ogre's gotta die, and we gotta get the gems. Um, I can get down with that. So. This is an interesting thing. All right, uh, hero move right of our enemy, recognize, now attack the enemy. All right, so we're gonna say hero, hero dot attack, enemy one. And we're gonna do that twice, because remember these guys currently are dying with two hits. Let's go ahead and run that, make sure that's working. Move right, tag this guy. Now we want to hero dot move right twice, and then we'll do a, we'll define a new enemy. So we'll say, actually, let's do this: hero dot move right and see. I believe he'll probably see within his line of sight, and then we'll have to define a new enemy. So we'll say var enemy two is equal to hero dot find nearest enemy because we have to find a new enemy, and then we want to say hero dot attack enemy two. Hero dot attack enemy two and then we're gonna have to move right twice. So once we're done killing this guy, we'll be need to complete the level. And I believe that should be it. So let's see here. Move right. Attack that guy. Move right. Attack this guy. That guy's wailing on me. It looks like we only need to attack him once. But it's dead. So we completed the level, but uh, it looks like um, the archers only take one hit. So in the future, what we can do is we can we can just know that we only need one attack, one less line of code. We got a new item as well, a wooden shield. Hopefully that will deal with some of the damage that we just took from this gentleman with this. Uh, throw on the spheres. All right, so this one we're gonna use the basic syntax, variables, arguments, and while loops. So survive a never-ending stream of ogres with mentorship from two experienced heroes. Cool. So uh, we're getting a little beefier with our shield. Plus 15 health. Your hero must survive under four statements. So this is us, and we're just gonna be attacking for a while. So you're gonna see what these guys are just gonna come with us. We're gonna do a wall true loop. And within here, what we're gonna do is say, look, uh, var enemy. We'll say var enemy is equal to hero.find nearest enemy. And then we're gonna say this dot attack the enemy. So all we want to do is find the enemy and just attack. Oh, excuse me, hero. Pause that real quick. So we want to say is not this, but rather our hero dot attack enemy. So bam, lays them out. While there's an enemy, continue to attack the enemy. Not too shabby so far. Our other heroes are doing work over here. Uh, we're getting a little... There we go. We survived, though. So we did under four statements. Our hero survived. Life is good. Collect our, uh, our little gifts. The final kith maze. So it looks like this way may be the last last example here. So basic syntax, while loops, and variables. Your hero must survive, defeat the ogre, navigate the maze, and do it under 10 statements. And collect the gems. Alright, so... Find nearest enemy. Move right, move up, move right, move down, move down, move right. Move up, move down. So it looks like this follows a pattern. Um, so we're gonna say wall true. So we want it to loop through. So 
Anytime you need a, something to follow a pattern, a while loop's gonna need to be made. So we'll say move dot, let's move right. And then we'll say uh, arrow dot move up. And then we're gonna be within the line of sight. So we'll say var enemy is equal to hero dot find nearest enemy. And then we wanted this dot attack enemy. And I'm or excuse me, hero dot attack enemy. And we'll say hero dot attack enemy because I, if I remember correctly, it happened to ha happen twice. So we want to move down, move down, move up. All right, and then we want to. Oh, excuse me, hero dot move right. Hero dot move down. Hero dot move down. Hero dot move up. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten statements. I believe we we did that. So let's go ahead and run it and see what's going on here. Move right. Move up. Attack twice. Move move right. Move down. Move down. Move up. And I think these little refresh things here kind of show you like this is where your while loop should end. Like it's a little hint. Um, so bam, bam. And it kind of looks like she's moving back to her start position, but she's really just, it's not a command. It's, it's kind of just like, look, we never told him to move. He only moved out there to go kill this guy. So you got to go back to where you're at for your code to function properly, which makes sense. There we go. Pretty solid, pretty solid. Uh, it looks like we got a new item. Uh, you're deadly, infinitely deadly. Yeah, I know, man. Uh, crude builders thing. So, it looks like we are at the kiss card gates. So we have a new thing that's gonna allow us to build stuff. So we can either build a fence or a fire trap. And we have a, that's with build types. Build XY will allow us to build a unit at the given uh, example. So we're actually losing our attack. We're no longer going to have attack because we're we're uh, setting something else up. We're going to be using a different different methods and functions with our hero. All right. So what it wants us to do is instead of killing these guys, we're going to build a Y. We're going to build something right here. So here it on move no down, build fence. All those ogres. Yeah, you don't, don't even, you don't even know what my hero can do, man. Actually, I just got laid out. Maybe I can't build. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna move down, and then we're gonna build a fence here. To find X Y coordinates for build X Y. All right. So they told us right now you can hover over. So this is the first one. Then we want to build one here and here, and then we need to get the hell out of the dungeon. All right, so. We're gonna say, look, tell our hero, let's do this, build X, Y. What do we want to build? A fence. And where do we want to build it? 36, 31. And then we want to build X, Y. We want to build it at 37, 27. And then, oops. So that should build our three fences. And then we want our hero, we want to move right. And I don't, I think this might be enough. So move what right, two, three, and now, oh, we need to move right maybe twice more. So hero dot move right. Hero dot move right. So our hero build XY takes in a string that tells it essentially what to build, and then it takes in two coordinates or two numbers to tell it where to build it. So very nice. We're out of the dungeon, man. I think I think that's it. Complete, we've completed 20 levels. Pretty solid. And now I think it's time to move in here. But let's let's actually head back to the dungeon. Um, so there are two optional levels uh, signs and fortress this is apparently a new level uh, so we'll we'll be doing signs and 
portents and we'll be doing kiss guard mastery which is a advanced optional challenge in the next video um as always guys thank you to everyone supporting me on patreon thank you for those of you who subscribe and follow and comment and share it's really appreciated and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching hey guys thanks for watching the video don't forget to like comment and share and support me on patreon check out wayup.com it's a great way to find full-time jobs internships part-time jobs and one-time freelance work for the college student all you need is a edu email it's completely free and you'll help me out in the process too thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time